Do you fear rejection when flirting? It's a common concern and it's completely normal to feel this way. Flirting can indeed be a daunting task, especially when the fear of rejection looms large. But here's the thing. Effective flirting techniques can be your best ally in mitigating this fear. They can help you navigate the intricate dance of attraction with grace and subtlety. So, are you ready to take the reins and conquer your fears? Let's dive into the five subtle flirting tips to help you overcome your fear of rejection. Our first tip is all about confidence. Confidence, my friends, is the secret sauce to successful flirting. It's about believing in yourself, your charm, your wit. It's about knowing you've got something special to offer. And guess what? Confidence has a funny way of reducing that pesky fear of rejection. Because when you're confident, you're not focused on whether you'll be turned down. Instead, you're focused on the interaction, the connection. Remember, confidence is contagious. If you believe in yourself, others will too. Moving on to our second tip, always be genuine. You see, authenticity shines brighter than any well-practiced line or rehearsed gesture. Pretending to be someone else can actually amplify your fear and increase the chances of rejection. It's like wearing a mask. Eventually it has to come off, and what's underneath might not be what the other person signed up for. So, drop the act. Be yourself. Your genuine self is your most attractive self. Simply being yourself can make flirting easier and more enjoyable. Our third tip is to use humor. Think of humor as the secret sauce that adds a dash of fun to your flirtatious interactions. It's a fantastic way to lighten the mood and make the conversation enjoyable. Humor can also help you sidestep the fear of rejection. How? By making the interaction more relaxed and casual. It's like a soft cushion that eases any potential awkwardness. So, don't be afraid to crack a joke or share a funny story. Remember, laughter is a great icebreaker. Our fourth tip focuses on body language. The way you carry yourself can speak volumes before you even utter a word. Imagine this. You're standing tall, shoulders back, with a bright smile on your face. Your eyes sparkle with interest as they make contact with the person you're flirting with. This powerful trio of good posture, eye contact and a warm smile can send positive signals, making you appear approachable and confident, thereby reducing the fear of rejection. Always be mindful of your body language, it speaks louder than words. Our final tip is to be a good listener. It's not just about hearing the words, it's about being present and engaging in the conversation. Active listening is like a secret weapon in the world of flirting. When you show genuine interest in what someone else is saying, it makes them feel valued, seen, and heard. Imagine this. You're talking to someone who's constantly checking their phone or looking over your shoulder. Doesn't feel great, right? Now imagine someone who's fully present, who's responding to your words, asking follow-up questions, and showing appreciation for your thoughts. That's the power of active listening. Active listening also helps reduce your fear of rejection. When you're focused on the other person, you're not dwelling on your insecurities. You're not wondering if you're saying the right thing because you're too busy being interested in them. And that, my friends, can make all the difference. Remember, being a good listener is a powerful flirting tool. Let's quickly recap our five subtle flirting tips. First, remember that confidence is key. Walk into any room like you own it. Second, be genuine. Authenticity resonates. Third, don't underestimate the power of humor. A good laugh can break the ice. Fourth, positive body language speaks volumes. Lastly, being a good listener shows you care. It's now up to you to implement these tips in your own way. With these tips, you'll be able to flirt confidently and fearlessly. Remember, everyone faces rejection at some point, but it's how you handle it that truly matters. Happy flirting.